What up, Chit Timbers here. Well, it looks like the Musters is coming back once again. Now, in the wake of Rob Zombie's direction video movie, The Monsters, back in 2022, which was awful. I love Rob Zombie, including, like, I'm a defender of Rob Zombie. You know, I'm I'm a defender of his Halloween films. The only movie that he did do that I was not a fan of was that Lords of Salem. But Monsters is probably his worst, in my opinion. Uh... But, yeah, uh, in the w this, of course, comes from Blade Discussing, saying that in the wake of Rob Zombie's direction video movie, The Monsters, back in 2022, Universal has announced 13, um, 13, a brand new small screen reboot of the iconic series. Now, this one piques my, my interest more. Developed and produced by James Wan's Atomic Monster. Now, I, if they, like, just um, the announcement of another must. I'm like, okay, did we just try this? But you tell me that James Wan is attached to this? Okay, that piques my interest more. The new Universal movies, uh, the Universal Horror Series is said to be a reimagining of the 1964 classic sitcom The Monsters that lives and breathes within the Universal Monsterverse. Uh, Lindsay Anderson Bear, who recently gave us Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, will serve as showrunner. Uh, 1313, the title, of course, is reference to the Monsters family's address, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. The project is being developed by James Wan's um, Beer and Ingrid um, Bissou. Uh, now, of course, it's supposed to be more like um, more of a horror series take of the original. Uh, now, of course, if you want to revisit the original Monster series, it is streaming on, on Peacock. The series ran for just uh, two seasons between 1964 and 66, spawning several feature films and a sequel titled The Monsters Today from 88 to uh, 91. More recently, Brian Fuller's Mocking on um, Berlin reimagined the series for NBC, but never made past the pilot episode. I really wanted to see that, but anyway. But of course, the last time we got a Monsters take was Rob Zombies, and we saw how that one turned out. And while various actors have played the roles across the decades, the core of the monsters has largely remained the same, with various shows and movies documenting the wacky lives and of the lovable uh, family of monsters. What does a dark reimagining entail? Yeah, so I'm really curious to see what, like, what, how dark are they going to be? Is it going to be, from the sound of it, I don't think it's going to be the comedic one that uh, Rob Zombie made his monsters should be. It'll probably be a little more, um, Maybe something more like a darker tone of, let's say, Wednesday. I could totally see this being more in the vein of Wednesday, really. Um, who are you going to get to play the characters? Uh, like, who are you going to get to play the likes of uh, Herman Munster? Uh, you know, who are you going to get to play a uh, Lily Monster? Who are you going to get to play, uh, you know, the uh, Frankenstein Monster? I mean, it's going to be interesting to see who they can get to uh yeah, for this, but hey, maybe it could work. Who knows? It can't be worse than the Rob Zombie one, right? So, I don't know. It, it could be a train check out. Anyway, let me let you guys. What are your thoughts on James Wan uh, working on a new TV take of the Monsters? You know, are you even interested in seeing a new take of the Monsters? Do you like the idea of James Wan being attached to this? And were you ever a fan of the Monsters? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is him signing off.